okay to today i have two monitor lamps both from, from quintis with a approximate same price one is with rgb one is without rgb but has a remote control instead now why i ch chose these two is because i really like when you have ambient light a light behind the monitor as well not just in front of you so that you can when you're sitting here in the dark you have some light source behind you as well so i'm going to to check both of them and see how they work so let's start with the remote control dual source light bar these ones both cost around around 50 bucks you have some let's see here this is the remote control so there it is installed very minimal look on it look at this it's very uh, now forget that the cable is yellow but if you look at this and you look how thin it is and it's going exactly on top of the dead monitor so it's just right aesthetically it's very nice so if you look at it from from distance you barely feel any form of it stands out or is somewhat strange or something like that so it looks really nice I like the setup from so far and let's check out the monitor so this is a uh, glossy as you can see now if you press it it lights up nice and then you have the this must be the temperature it goes colder and warmer i don't know if you can see that and then you have the this is the brightness this is the brightest setting and this is the dimmest setting and i guess that you can also this is on and off and you should be able to turn off the ambient light i guess but this is very this is very very white yellow yellow more, more yellow and so i don't know how you turn off so this is the back button backlight button so let's try it out in the dark turn it on and uh, this is the, without the backlight with the backlight now i've discovered this is at the highest setting so let's boil it down to the lowest setting now this is pretty cozy and when it comes to the colors this is the warmest and this goes all the way up now this isn't optimal for the night it feels very office-ish so this is okay but yeah i think if you're sitting in the night when the dark you will want a warmer setting so either the warmest or the second warmest now there are a couple of things that i noticed which i do not like so first of all backlight is not you cannot select the warmth or the tone of or the hue of the backlight only the front light so i have a white wall against me and while i like the idea that it's lighting up the background and the all of the scene i i would have liked if i could set that to the warm light as well but i cannot another thing that i noticed which i do not like is this that if you look here you can see the individual leds it's a bit hard to see on the camera but they are there so you can see them if i like that if you look at it you can see them now why does that matter so you need to have it angled all the way down but then there will be more glare not much but it's a bit more glare on the monitor and another thing that i notice is that if you have a macbook pro with a touch bar that i have then you have this, this scenario that it's easy that well it depends on the angle but when i was sitting there do you see that so when you're sitting there is a chance that this depending on how you set it it will hit your eyes as you're sitting here and coding or doing whatever you're doing then you it reflects the leds and onto your eyes so this was what i did not like one that you cannot change the back light into some warmer color and two that it you see the individual leds this is something that disturbs me what i did like was that no i'm not sure how much prone this is to it is it will have finger finger marks as well and this is not optimal otherwise this is very the controller itself is very nice you can have it here and you can turn it off as you want and play with it and uh, overall the feeling of this night setting is really nice so i can i can imagine myself sitting like this apart from these two views these two problems that i mentioned so let's try the other one which you can turn on and off let's try this in dark conditions so let me turn it off so this is the rgb model 
and aesthetically it's a bit larger a bit bulkier and there is a small small as you can see here three four pixel height that covers the screen on top it's not very noticeable but a bit so i think if i choose this one i will probably cut cut it off here cut off these two for my monitor and well you have the logo here and this and it's like it's okay but it's not 100 percent from behind it's okay I don't mind this setup. Let's try it out. So let's try it with the light first. And nothing happens. So there's something happened. It's very white. Then you touch it. And well, nothing happens when I touch it. I don't know how much do I need to touch. One tap, tap two tap. You need to tap it. This is approximate. It's the same tones like the other one. Very white, blue, yellow, white. I don't like the tap, it's not very, very so. So, you need to tap So, this is the angle. Now, let's try the RGB. So, I think it's the same. Wow, so you have this effect. And yeah, I think my voice would have liked it, but if I'm sitting and coding like this, that would have just this would disturb me, probably. So, I can angle this down and up like that, and I can see that it's a bit. <laughs> just, it's the, if it goes down a bit, it's not very... Oh, okay, so you need to push it so you can balance. Now, there's one color. This tap is not very good. Another color. I don't like that it's shifting colors, but that might be because I'm too old for this. It's shifting colors very fast. So here's something more like it. Oh, it's still shifting colors, but it's only one color that is shifting. So if I'm sitting like this, when I still feel disturbed that it's changing the colors if I'm sitting in coding like I usually do in the night. Now it's one color, I hope. So this is more like it, this is nice. So I can angle this more down or more up. And now it's only red, so if I take this more down, it will go more, more up. Touching it again, you have green. This is actually cool, I like this. That you can have one mode or mood, so to say. Touching it again. I'm trying to touch it again and I need to balance this one. Now it's going down. I think it's when I'm tapping it, so let me balance it. Again, it's wrong. And then it all falls down as well. No, it's gone. This is the worst review ever, I think. Bear with me. But I'm an ordinary user, so I have not been paid for this. I bought it with my own money. And there, did you see that? So now it's in line with my screen monitor, which is pretty slim. So if I go out a bit, you can see it better. So now it's blue, yellow, blue, more blue, and it's purple and white. And now it's all shifting again. And then I accidentally moved it because I tapped it. And okay, so what I like the most, I didn't like the shifting colors. Probably people are gaming might like it. This is shifting slowly. This is okay, but I still prefer one color. So like, for example, I probably like something like this when I'm sitting. And let's see here. My question now is, if I like, for example, red color, will it remember my settings or not? Let's try it out. So if I unbox it from behind the monitor, it goes out. And then I put it in, what will happen? It will not be turned on automatically. So if I turn it on, I turn it on, it's still red, perfect. And this is still the same yellowish color. The, it's interesting because the warm yellow feels more white when you have the background color. Now, this is a, has the same problem as the other one. You can see the individual LEDs and same goes here. You, they will be reflected on your glossy touch bar. Otherwise, so what I did not like with this one, well, apart from the individual LEDs being seen, which will is, is the same as the other one, the screen line here. The RGB version doesn't have a, it doesn't have a remote control. And this is like, a, I don't, I don't want to call it a deal breaker, but for example, if you want something fast and this is like, it's easy that you tap it and then you miss it like I do now and you miss it. And it's like, then it starts moving a bit. How do I turn it off? I need to hold it. So you need to grip it and hold it. I think it's the best scenario. And look now, so, I'm holding it and nothing happens. Hello. So you tap it to turn it on, but you hold it to turn it off. It's the user interface, I think you will learn. But you have this scenario also, yeah, that you turn it off in the front and you only have a backlight. 
this is not optimal for me I will be using the front and the back light like this but I'm not very sure if I need the back light I like that it's not a white one so it's a bit warmer for example if you have the red tone but this now it's a problem I need to tap 1000 times until I get to the to the yellowish color or the for example this which one you should choose well it's up to you but I don't know if this gives very much I like that it's ambient and all of that but I, I will not use these scenarios these modes but what I will do is probably I will be using this for a couple of days then I will give you my final thoughts which one I liked I think that that's one is an important when it comes to the front light well if you want to use it as a desk light it's readable you're standing in like this and you're doing your homework or whatever it's very easy to read you have like it can it will replace a desk lamp which was the idea for my my boys desk same as me so that is nice one last thing if you double tap this it will be dimmed oh i accidentally changed the colors now it's yellow double tap it will become dimmer and then it will be the brightest again so double tapping will dim down the light but it will also move the light because it's yeah over and out